Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're going to take a look at the Zotac Twin Edge 3060 Ti. Guys, I'm not going to lie, this is not my first choice of card. I'd usually go for an XE Ultra or for the Winfrey or an Asus Strix. Now, obviously the current pandemic, the, the current supply issues um, kind of restricts you really. You, you can't get what you want. Um, so you have to kind of like just deal with what there is. And basically that's what I did with this card. It came available in the marketplace. Um, and I thought, yeah, I'll go for that because firstly I wanted to get a card. And secondly, my options were very limited. Um, but to be honest, I needn't have worried um, because actually it's pretty good to be honest. Um, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take a look at the card we we'll look at the build quality, we we'll look at cooling, noise, um, benchmarks. Um, so uh, let's get on with it. So if we take a look at the card, I think it's lovely to be honest. Um, it's got a nice rugged industrial design, it's minimalistic, it's got a nice back plate which you don't always get. Also because of the compact nature, you know, it being twin fan and or twin slot, you're going to get it into most ITX cases, um, so that's a really good option there. It also actually has RGB lighting, which wasn't something which I got working at the time of this video, but that's just a software thing to be honest. So now we're going to talk about power supplies. Now this is a 200 watt card and Nvidia will tell you that you need a 650 watt. Now that's a little bit kind of misleading to be honest because you, you don't really. Now this system which is a 10700K, um, when gaming with a high refresh monitor only drew 357 watt. Now when choosing a power supply you kind of need to add on about 150 just to allow for efficiency of the, the unit itself and for any power spikes. Um, my recommendation is 550 watt gold and above um, yes, yeah, so anything more than that is, is brilliant. You have lots, lots of room for, uh, for upgrading later on. Um, but you know, you could get away with a 500 watt bronze. I probably wouldn't recommend it, but people have been saying that even with a 3070, it's been fine. So at the end of the day, the bigger and the better power supply you have, um, yeah, it can only be a good thing really. So, so don't kind of scrimp on that. Just make sure you get a good quality one, 550 watt, gold plus, and yeah, absolutely fine. So we talk about thermals, um, I was actually quite skeptical with it being a twin fan and being such a small card, but actually they were pretty good to be honest. Um, now whilst gaming, um, the maximum I got was 64 degrees, and that was about 20 degree ambient temperature. I'm um, bearing in mind, down the bottom here I've got two fans, um, but to give it a bit of context, I had the 3090 founders in here um, and it was getting about 60 degrees. So 64 for such a small card is pretty good to be honest. So my 64 degrees was um, with a standard stock curve. Um, now obviously if you want to play around with that you can kind of get better or worse results, obviously depending on your acoustics, um, what you're happy with. Now I did some noise testing at 20, 40, 50, 60, um, 80 and 100% and the results are showed on the screen. Now it's really quiet to be honest, um, up to about 60%. Um, after that it kind of gets a little bit noisy, but what do you expect to be honest really um, with such a small car? So with the thermals and the noise, I was, I was really impressed to be honest. So don't kind of go into it thinking it's going to be a hot and loud card. Um, now obviously your mileage will vary depending on what case you've got, what fans. Um, but yeah, in my system, I was really, really happy with it to be honest. So now we're going to take a look at benchmarks. Um, I've done about five or six games. Um, it's basically equivalent to a 2080 Super from last gen. It's really good to be honest. Um, and the, the testing's done using my 10700K um, and it's done at 1440p. So go check those out and then we'll uh, wrap up the video.
Guys, so I'm just gonna wrap up the video now. I really like the card. If you've got a mini ITX system, brilliant choice. If you've got a large case, yeah, you probably wanna go for a bigger card. It will look a, look a little bit better. Um, but yeah, really nice, 420 quid. You can't go wrong, to be honest. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.